find the annual wealth of family of the given circle. What is the given circle you call it? How to solve it? So my question, I repeat again, find the annual wealth of the family of the circles. X minus alpha whole square plus y square equal to 4 alpha. Get that? So solution. Let us consider the given family of the circle. Okay. So this is given curve. Let x minus alpha whole square plus y square equal to 4 alpha. 4 alpha. This is what I have here. This as a f of x comma y comma alpha equal to 0. This is what I have here. Yeah. Now what I am going to do? I am going to find a do f by do f. That means differentiate partially with respect to parameter. What is the parameter I have here? Alpha. Yeah. So that case comes with x and y becomes a constant form. So what will be there? Differentiate entire equation. If I consider this equation as 1. After differentiation, 2 into x minus alpha. x differentiation is 0. 1 alpha differentiation is minus 1. Plus y square differentiation is 0 equal to 4, different, 4 alpha differentiation is 4 into 1. And this becomes 2 x minus alpha into minus 1 minus 2 x minus alpha equal to 4. Get that? So this becomes x minus alpha equal to minus 2. So how can I find alpha here for me now? So what I can take it? I can take it minus alpha is equal to minus 2 minus x. So finally alpha will be alpha equal to x. When I take minus comma, minus minus will get cancelled. x plus 2 will be the minus alpha. Is it clear? So now we got it alpha. We got it do alpha, do alpha by do alpha equal to also 0 form. So once you found that, so this is I consider as the alpha value. So I need what I need to do? I already found the do alpha by do alpha. What is my do alpha by do alpha? Okay, I consider do alpha by do alpha equal to minus alpha equal to minus 2 minus x. Get that? So once you got it, I am making this one use utilize the do alpha by do alpha and the equation 1. I am going to eliminate the alpha value. That means consider the given family of the curve again. It becomes x minus alpha whole square plus y square equal to 4 alpha. Get that? So here, substitute substitute alpha. Get that? What is my alpha? x plus 2. This becomes x minus alpha means x plus 2 plus y square as it is because I don't have anything there equal to 4 into alpha is x plus 2. Do you get that? So once I got it, simplify this. x minus alpha whole square, right? Simplify this. Once I simplify this, what will be there? x minus x minus 2 whole square plus y square equal to 4x plus 8. I will be getting it. So once I solve it, once I solve it, what will be there? Plus x minus 2 will get cancelled. Minus 2 whole square will be left out. Minus 2 whole square will be 4 4. Plus y square equal to 4x plus 8. So let me consider y square and right as it is left side. y square 4x plus 8. I will let me transfer this 4 to right hand side. This becomes minus 4 4. Once I got minus 4, this becomes y square equal to 4x plus 4. 4x plus 4. Get that? So y square equal to, when I take 4 outside, x plus 1 will be remaining for me. This is the standard form what I can reduce it here. So y square equal to 4 into x plus 1. Look at no alpha here. Once I am able to eliminate all the parameters there, there is look at alpha as a parameter, I eliminated there. So that means I got my analog of the given family of the curve. Therefore, this is this is the required angular. This is the required angular. Yep. Okay, now find the envelope of the given family of the lines. Y equal to m x plus a by m, where m is a parameter form. Okay, the given family of the line is given as 
that is uh, y equal to mx plus a by m. This is the given parametric line. Okay. So now this I will give as the equation one. So you should compare this what f of y x comma y comma alpha equal to zero. This is my first one. So now what is next step? Differentiate partially. Differentiate partially one with respect to m. Why m is a parameter for me? So start differentiating. Differentiation of y partially will become zero equal to m. Differentiation is one. X is a constant for me. Plus y is a constant. Differentiation of one by m will become minus one by m square. So this becomes for finally x minus y by m square. I can write this x equal to y by m square. So I need to in a parameter that is m square. So I am writing a stand form of m square equal to y by x. So I found that m square equal to y by x. My next step is supposed to consider the equation one. I need to eliminate the m from the equation one. So now let us consider that we have y equal to m x plus y by m. For our convenience, we square both sides. Because when I square both sides, I will get m square. In that way, I can substitute m square value. Or else, I need to take the square root of m square. That becomes square root of y by x and replacement should be directly. So let us square both sides. On squaring both sides, on squaring both sides, we get y square equal to m x plus y by m four square. This can be done as y square equal to m square x square plus y square by m square plus two m x into y by m. What is the standard? It must be whole square formula. I have been taken. So this becomes y square equal to m square x square. Plus a square by m square plus what are we getting? Two a x will be simplification for this. Now what I am going to do? I am going to replace wherever x square is given as a by x. Let us consider y square equal to a by x into x square plus a square. M square is what again? A by x divided by a by x plus Two y x. So this will be what I got it. So once you got this, what is the next? Look at it. Y square equal to a by x into x square plus a square divided by a by x plus two y x. Now simplify this one. This one simplification. Y square equal to a by x into x square. I will be getting as y x plus a square by a by x. I will be getting again. A into x plus two a x. So this will be the finally I will be getting as y square equal to a x plus a x plus two a x becomes four a x. So I am eliminated here. That means I eliminated the parameter term. While looking at y square equal four x, what does this this look like? A exactly parallel for me. So therefore, therefore the required The required envelope of given family of line, family of line, is a parabola. Is it clear? Okay, now find the envelope of the family of the circles. The given family of the circle, x minus alpha one square plus y square equal to Alpha square. Let us consider this as the equation one. Let x minus alpha whole square plus y square equal to alpha square is equation one. Yeah. Okay. So now what will be next step? Differentiate partial with respect to alpha parameter. Differentiate partially with respect to alpha. Start differentiating. Two into x minus alpha. X minus alpha differentiation is minus one. So plus y square differentiation is zero equal to 
alpha square root fraction is 2 alpha we will be getting. Once you simplify this, minus 2 into x minus alpha equal to 2 alpha. So this becomes x minus alpha equal to, when I take minus 2 to right side, this becomes minus alpha. So x equal to minus alpha transfer this plus alpha. So x equal to what? 0. This is what? Do f by do x, right? Do f by do alpha. This is called do f by do alpha equal to 0. Therefore, what is my intention here? 100% there is no alpha here. Since there is no alpha here, I can't take this and substitute back here in the equation 1 to eliminate the alpha in the equation 1. Therefore, since there is no alpha in do f by do alpha, we can conclude that there is, therefore there is no envelope. There is no envelope.